Hi, Jim Jims. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Gemini placements in their chart. Just make sure you guys flip and switch the roles here. Um, and um, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Also, remember that there could be scammers down below in the comments section, people pretending to be me. So if the name is not highlighted in gray, it is not me replying back to your comment. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other social media platforms, it is also obviously not me. My social media handles are going to be down below in the description box, okay? So let's see, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you all. You know, I hope you guys are really feeling good today, all right? I hope the day is going lovely so far, okay? Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones. Wow. Return it back to the sender. Oh. Okay, they're not going to let me shuffle that way. Let's try again. So let's see. What's going on for Gemini Spirit? What's going on for Gemini here? I'm seeing somebody unpacking boxes. Some of you guys could be moving. 111 on the timer, so that, that could be true. It's confirmation for somebody. Some of y'all are moving into your new home or you're, you're in the middle of unpacking or you're packing up to go to a new place. So congrats. You know, if that's you. Okay. So let's see. What's going on for Gemini Spirit? Messages for Gemini. Some of you guys, somebody could be thinking about opening up a metaphysical store. Okay, as well. So congrats on that. I feel like you really love it. Okay. You're really going to, so that's going to turn into your baby. In the I love the metaphysical store, like really bad. That's where I spend my time at. <laughs> a lot of the times, the metaphysical store. Um, I'm hearing something too about plantains. Somebody could be from Jamaica, okay? Or you're eating Jamaican food or something like that, but somebody really likes plantains. All right, let's see. What's going on for Jim James? Somebody could be a NASCAR driver or that's your dream or that's what you wanna do or you like going to those kind of like places to watch the cars. What is that called? I've never even been to one. Two, 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 two on the timer. Okay, so here's your energy coming out, Gemini. So we have um, number five, Gemini energy, yacht, adventure, affluence, luxury. Who had that? Libra. Could be dealing with a Libra. Mobility, travel, great ease, smooth sailing, sophisticated with the wind, self-indulgent, prosperity, comfort, wealth, over the top, and extravagant. Okay, period. So you could live a pretty fancy lifestyle or you could be coming into some sort of like money. Inheritance is what I'm hearing too some sort of like wealth or you're building generational wealth here some of y'all could be getting ready to retire early because you're successful in your business like your business is thriving okay um some of y'all like i said it could be traveling or you're going to a boat party a yacht party okay period that's where all the fancy people at you know some of y'all are just like you're coming up in life so you want to hang with certain people and i feel like that makes sense if you're at a certain place in your life, why? I feel like you're a quality over quantity kind of person or somebody is, but people get offended. So, but who cares, <laughs> right? It's like, it's like, if that offends somebody, then that just means they need to raise their standards or they need to, I don't know, but whatever. So let's move on. What else? Let's see. So we have number seven. This is a yes or no card, uncertain. At this time, the situation or outcome is undetermined. So let's see. It's like you don't know where you're going, but you're going or something like that. Then we have number nine, cross, um, Pisces energy, sacrifice down for the cause, release, let go, giving up, surrender, put others first for the greater good, dogma, heroic effort, purpose driven, martyrdom, he the call. So I feel like you're going to the next phase in your journey. Okay, with martyrdom, isn't that martyrdom is somebody that like um gets hurt or punished for a for a religious belief or or for a certain belief? I'm not gonna say religious or something. Hmm. You could be breaking generational curses of this. Like that could have been what happened in a past life or past lives ago. I got this card for Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. And a Libra so far, or another Gemini or a Pisces. What else? So, okay, yeah, you see the checker flag? I just got something about NASCAR. <laughs> or 
or or something is like a competition or you're trying to race race to the finish line or whatever let's see we have gemini energy again with this worry beads so it say worry fear anxiety irritated calming soothing bored passing time upset unease needs care fretful ritual repetitive motion de-escalate and nervous tick so there's something you're nervous about okay and then it came out with leo energy number nine again nine 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 is here so you guys will be seeing nine 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 look those numbers up it says checkered flag conclusion outcome finale completion verdict settled results signaling the end finishing first achievement culmination final chapter endings and feeling relieved okay something is coming here number nine again there's another nine okay could be dealing with the cancer Hmm. There's something that you're worried about here. This card says declaration, defiance, reclaiming power, so so serenity, sovereignty, or something like that. Contract, resolve. I don't even know how to say that word. Expressing truth, manifesto, self-rule, liberty or death, rules of the game, protesting, challenging the status quo. So there's something that you're changing, or you're going against some sort of like rule, or you're not conforming to something here that you're just not gonna do. Okay, but let, let's just see. But with this rainbow being the bottom of the deck, I see abundance, good luck, happiness. You're being protected as you move forward. I feel like you're you're worried about something. You're worried about, I don't know. But let's just see. Let me, um, I'm going to turn this arrow off. Give me a second, Gemini, because it's, it's cold. All right, Gemini. So, so um, yeah. So let's see what's going on, man. What is going? What is this for my Gem Gem spirit? Please give me clear messages. Clear messages for Gem Gems. I'm getting like there could be some inner conflict here. Somebody's name could be James. I'm hearing Richard, Ricardo, Rico. Ronaldo, Ronald, Jake or Jack. Ali. <clears throat> Elisa, Alyssa, or something like that. Or Lisa. Let's see. What's this yacht right here? There's a journey you're going on, and I just feel like you're scared or I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, three of swords. What's um yacht? I feel like you're worried about. Mm, let's see. The ten of cups. So yeah, you're on the road to your happily ever after. The ten of cups is literally happily ever after. Someone could have a Pisces Mars placement. So this is where you're going. Some of you guys are going to meet somebody. You're going to meet your person on a boat or a yacht or your person could be, they could have a different ethnicity. This could be an interracial couple for some of you. You could be, I don't know, you could be something and your person is something else. <laughs> okay, you could be black, the person could be white or you could be mixed with something and your person could be black or whatever, you know, but I'm saying whatever this is, you're happy ever after. Who cares about color? It's just, you know, date who loves you. <laughs> That's what I feel about that. But, um... There is something coming here. Some of y'all have a very wealthy background. Your family have passed down some things to you, a gift to you that you're on the road to uncovering or you're 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 coming closer to something that you want here, right? We have the rainbow here and the rainbow there. Some of you guys are having a rainbow baby. You're having a, a, a miracle baby or or a, a spirit baby, a star seed kind of child. I don't know, you already have them. But I'm getting... There, there's a family dynamic coming together here. Some of y'all are getting married. Okay, you're having kids. You're settling down here. Definitely something that's fated or destined to come in for you is coming. You're fated to be in a loving marriage and a loving connection. You're fated to feel comfort or happiness or peace and live this really good life here. You're, that's just what you're fated to have and it's coming. Yeah, the world, for some of you, this person might be at a distance or whatever this is might be far. You might have to move. All right, but I feel like, yeah, the Ace of Cups. I feel like it's coming in for you but it's like you don't know if you're gonna get it or not or 
you're worried that you're not. Let's see, what's the, what else for y'all with the Ten of Cups? I'm seeing the movie Titanic, okay? Yeah, with Jack and, what's her name? I'm about to say Jack and Jill, child. <laughs> what's the girl name? 9-11 on the clock. You guys have seen those those angel numbers. I see those all the time. What's y'all with the Ten of Cups? Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Someone could have a Leo Mars and a Taurus Moon with the Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, I'm getting equal give and take, reciprocity, a gift. Yeah, this is a gift that's being given to you. I feel like you're, you're definitely standing up for something that you believe in. You, you still believe in love here. Somebody's a hopeless romantic. You're not giving up. You're not going to give up here. I feel like you're protecting what's yours. Yeah, Three of Wands, Two of Cups. That, that's what I'm getting. Or this is somebody protecting you. Okay, some of y'all are definitely getting ready to go on a new adventure or this is a new relationship coming in. I, I don't know, but I'm seeing happiness though. And I'm seeing somebody that's going to give to you equally, just period. Okay, um, so, something about definitely wealth, prosperity, a payout, money. You're meant to just live whatever this is and you're meant to be treated with respect and care and love and your connection. Like that's just what you're meant for. And I feel like you're protecting it with your dear life or you're fighting for it. You're just standing up for something that you believe in. And I feel like it's love. I feel like you still believe in like people be like, oh, fuck these niggas or fuck this, these hoes or whatever the hell. And I just feel like you don't get down with none of that. It's childish. It is. That's because people have not healed and they don't want to look at themselves before they say fuck this person and fuck that person. They don't really want to do the inner work. And then they wonder why they don't have good relationships. <laughs> That's why, you know, and I get it. People do you dirty. You're just like, fuck whatever. But instead of saying that, you need to take that time out to heal and keep moving because life don't stop for you. And if you want to grow old and lonely, then that's on your ass. I don't know. That's everybody has choices. So that's you, whatever. But people really want love, though, because why do you think they go from one relationship to the next without taking the time? Because they want that, but they don't know how to heal. And that's what I'm, just what I'm getting with this. I feel like you're not you're not going to bow down to that way of thinking or societal norms. It's like you're going to create a different uh, narrative, okay, for society for society to see or or look up. They're, they're like going to look up to you or look look up to the things that you do here because you're creating this for yourself. You're creating abundance, a legacy, um, wealth. You're going to be able to leave something here for your kids to have as well. Yeah. So what's the ten of cups? Something here. Yeah, six of cups. Another card of gifts. Kids, children, um, sharing, being generous, being kind. Yeah, love is the highest vibration is what I'm getting with this. For some of you, definitely somebody from your past or a past life, or it could be both. But somebody here from your past is your ten of cups. The ten of cups is fate, is destiny, is soulmate energy, by the way, as well. So whoever this is, they're meant to be y'all meant to be together, whoever it is. Your kids are meant to be happy. Some of y'all are going into a blended family. I'm seeing two kids here. Two kids here. These look like two younger people or two teenagers or whatever. Some of y'all could be destined to have two kids or you're, or I don't know. Maybe they have a child. You have a child. Y'all meant to blend or you're going to have more kids. I don't know. But there's a family being created here. Yeah, you know, I feel like you've done a lot of healing. Okay, there could have been like a childhood issues, child abuse or past influences, but they didn't affect you though, is what I'm getting with this. They still didn't, it, you didn't turn out to be a weak loser. I feel like you're you're very much so kind still and you still give, you still love, you still care. Like, and you're meant to have whatever this is. <laughs> you're just meant to have it. Or somebody that you're getting ready to be with is coming from a very wealthy background, but I feel like you, you are too and y'all bringing y'all shit together to give to each other, two of cups. Excuse me, period. Yeah, three of wands. Some of y'all, whoever this is, y'all live at a distance from this person. But I feel like you're waiting for love. Okay, you're waiting for the right one. You're waiting for the one that really, really makes your heart sing. Okay, that gives you good butterflies. Not the kind that make you all nervous and shit, but the kind that you just feel, you feel comfortable. You know what I mean? I feel like it's coming. <laughs> it's coming in the near future, three of wands. Okay, or you have a sense of foresight. You can see it. You know that it's yours. And that's how you manifest. Period. Yeah. What's the Six of Pentacles? 
some of you guys somebody is coming to like give you a gift i feel like you're going to end up pregnant as well some of y'all are going to have children pretty soon or when this comes together with the what's the six of pentacles the eight of swords So the eight of swords, so you can have a negative mindset or a negative way of thinking when it comes down to, when it comes down to giving equal give and take. Maybe because it's like you give, you give people things, but they really don't give to you in return. So this could be where the fear is coming from, or you're fearing that you're not going to get something back. Okay, and I feel like that's not the case. Somebody here loves you, they care about you, or this is your person thinking this way about you. All right, the eight of swords. Someone could have a Gemini Jupiter. This talks about. Somebody could be needing some bail money. Somebody needs help. They need you to bail them out of jail or something like that. But like I was saying, some of you guys could have fears, fear-based thinking around being given to because maybe you're not used to being given to properly or whatever. It could be coming from an emotional standpoint. So you use money to, I don't know, use money to cover up things or your person does or something like that. Maybe that's how somebody gives because they're not used to the lovey-dovey or whatever the fuck, right? They're not used to the um, emotions or being vulnerable or something like that. There's a, there's a self-sabotaging energy or like just a negative way of being. What's the Eight of Swords? Somebody is feeling stuck or like they got their hands tied. Yeah, eight of wands. You guys could be seeing 888. Something could be going on here with your money, your finances. You could need help with something. You could feel stuck. But you have gifts here that you're needing to use to maybe get yourself out of something. Okay, the, eight, the six of pentacles could talk about a payout or whatever the fuck. Definitely, you're getting paid pretty good here too, though. So... But I don't know, something where you feel stuck or somebody around you needs help. Yeah, three of swords, seven of swords. There's definitely somebody else here that needs help or whatever. Someone could have a Sagittarius Mercury. So I'm getting the eight of wands. Talks about like communication. So somebody could be reaching out to you or wanting to speak with you. There's going to be a sudden or a quick change in something where you feel stuck. I feel like you're going to get the help. Yeah, the star. Something's going to turn around in your favor. Because I feel like you sent something out to the universe or you're letting the universe know that you're scared about something. But you need to communicate what you're scared about and release it. Don't sit in fear. Yeah, manifesting the magician, the king of cups and the ace of pentacles. So somebody is going to come in. Yeah, three of pentacles and the four of wands. Wow, and the ten of pentacles and the ace of swords and the knight of cups. Whoever this is right here, it could be a Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, another Gemini or whoever the hell. They're going to come in here. They could be scared about giving you this offer because this person, they come from some sort of wealthy background. They could be scared because they've been used or something like that. They don't want to be used or because they, they have some sort of like healthy background. They're meant to live luxurious, luxurious or this is you too. Both of y'all are meant to do the same things, but this person, they have some sort of traumatic experience here. Somebody's like scared. Or so, yeah, about moving. But let's see, what's the Seven of Wands? Somebody, yeah, the Five of Cups. Somebody could be guarded or feeling defensive or somebody's blocking someone that has disappointed them. This is like grieving something or crying or being upset. So somebody is sad because someone is, somebody is sad because you blocked them or, or your person blocked someone else. Mm, yeah, somebody is stuck financially is what I'm getting. And I feel like you're going on a new adventure. <laughs> that, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, Ace of Cups and the, uh, the Ace of Cups and the Sun. Yeah, it's like you're moving on here. So whoever this is that's sad or projecting or crying or whatever the fuck, I feel like, I'm not going to say you don't give a fuck, but you kind of like don't. Yeah, King of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. It's like you're leaving somebody out in the cold here. And that's the right decision, Ace of Swords, because you're leaving them to fend for themselves. Because they shouldn't deal with the hell they did, whatever they did. What's the uh five of cups? Okay, damn. Yeah, the, the ten of pentacles in the world. Yeah, somebody is gonna miss out on this or they're not getting it because they deserve to be blocked. They did something. Someone could have a Virgo Mercury placement, the world, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius could be significant. 
Yeah, so I'm getting somebody is definitely wealthy though. Somebody comes from a wealthy family or their their bloodline is wealthy or they there's gifts here that people are that this person or you are honing in on that are um important to your to you building and going forward, right? That they're important for your purpose and whatever else. You know what I mean? But I'm getting somebody is sad because someone is taking their money and taking whatever gifts they got or whatever the fuck this is and they're moving on. Okay, 1010, you guys will be saying something is definitely over. Okay, it's over. <laughs> the world is a goal that's, that's that's completed, a cycle being closed out, and now something here can come into balance for you, Gemini. But um She's talking loud as hell. <laughs> but um <clears throat> Somebody is sad because they ain't get this. They're not getting it. They're not getting it. They're just not. It's they're blocked. Whoever this is, because this this could be yours, Gemini's. Your mental. Let's see. What's the six of cups with the ten of cups? Spirit. What's the ten of ten of cups with the six of cups? Yeah, the chariot. This is where you're going. You could be on the Cancer Gemini cusp here. I mean, Gemini Cancer cusp. Yeah, this is where you're going. And somebody wanted this for themselves or whoever this is that wanted it. They're not getting it now. They're going to be stuck. I don't know. I feel like somebody's going to be stuck or they're trying to reach out to you to get help or they're your person. But I feel like, I don't know. It's like they better go ask God for it. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know. Like, I'm so for real. Yeah, the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is not the justice. There could be a court situation going on where somebody's going to need bail money. I get it. Somebody could be going to jail for something. But the Ten of Pentacles is definitely wealth, abundance, prosperity. That's what's on this card. Somebody lives a very fancy life, and that's what they're going to get with the person that they're meant to be with, and that's that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. You're not supposed to be living a hard life. It says with great ease. Something is supposed to become easy. Yeah, nine of pentacles. You're not, yeah, in the temperance. You're not supposed to be struggling or living a struggle life. It's just like that's not your destiny. That's not what's fated for you. It's just not, you know? And so you're moving on to something else. Your, your Ten of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups and your Six of Cups, and the Chariot, it lies somewhere else with somebody else. I feel like things are now fair, too, between you and somebody where you were giving, 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 or you wanted to build this life or this certain thing with this certain person. You're now moving forward, and they're getting what's just due. So if it's a little bit, then they that's what they deserve, or that's what they're getting. And whatever lifestyle they live with you or whatever they was getting from you or your person, it's not there no more. Because there's sudden quick changes. There's things that are changing fast. It's like you're going with the, these wands. You're going where the positive energy is going and flowing. I feel like that's what it is. But for some of you, yeah, I feel like your person did do come from a wealthy background. They're kind of like scared a little bit. And I get it, I guess, you know, because people still, they lie. They do all kind of shit, you don't know. But wherever this person is coming to or going or wherever y'all going, it's really going to be nice. Yeah, the lovers are three of wands and the will of fortune. Yeah, but I'm getting there's a victory here. Love wins. The cherry with the six of cups and the ten of cups. This whatever this is that's coming in very fast is balanced with the, the black horse and the white horse. The divine feminine and divine masculine is balanced out. Okay. And, and this could just be you being balanced within yourself and you're very content. You're very happy with where you're at. But you guys could be coming in, coming together with a partner that you're going to get married to, have children. That's your that's your happiness here along with other things along with great business opportunities and everything else is what i'm getting so you know i feel like some of y'all gotta leave family behind you gotta leave them behind because they like to stay stuck yeah two of cups in order to get whatever this is because they like to stay stuck or whatever and i just feel like you're not that's not your life that's not what you're going to do that's just not so what's uncertain i feel like you did a lot of inner child healing you're moving forward you're balanced now you can get what's what's owed to you what spirit wants to give you anyway yeah the knight of wands sagittarius energy what else for uncertain with the knight of wands okay the temperance in reverse so somebody's like rushing <laughs> the temperance in reverse is hasty energy somebody could be rushing really fast I feel like somebody needs to pay attention to divine timing. Don't rush because this could be an in and out situation again if it's occurring again, okay, if you don't take your time, right? But for others of you, <clears throat> let's see. I'm getting your breaking free. The Knight of Wands is somebody that's very free-spirited. 
okay? And they don't like to be tied down. They, you know, this is a strong Sagittarius. But this could talk about somebody feeling confident or, or the Knight of Wands is very sexy. They're charming. There's somebody that's going to sweep you off your feet. The Temperance in Reverse is like you experiencing some sort of like discord or you're, you're clashing with somebody. This could also talk about you feeling antagonized by someone or somebody trying to antagonize you. I feel like you're breaking free of that or somebody that you're clashing with is going to come in. Let's see, because what's uncertain? With the Strength card and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's like there's something here that you're overcoming. You could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo on your chart or you could be dealing with another Gemini. You could be dealing with a Taurus or you could be on the cusp, Gemini, Taurus, Gemini cusp. But yeah, I feel like there was something for someone here to overcome. There was some sort of like um, betrayal. For some of you, it was a generational curse that's here or that was here. And I feel like you've overcame that challenge and now you're free. But there is something here that's still imbalanced or it's like you're experiencing some type of you're clashing with someone or you're not seeing eye to eye with them. Or now you, you're just not seeing eye to eye with these people because you're not meant to, I guess. They, they meant to go their way and you're meant to go yours. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups is what I saw. It's like you're not meant to like you don't care if they, they're mad or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Let's see, but the Ten of Swords, this talks about a, the worst of a situation being over, but there was definitely some sort of like betrayal or backstabbing or whatever this is right here. What's the Knight of Wands? The Three of Pentacles. So I'm getting teamwork, yeah. The Moon and the Nine of Wands. So for some of you, there was like a third party here. So this is why you're uncertain because there was a third party. You're trying to figure out if somebody has broken free, if they're ready to come towards you or if they're going to be in and out back and forth with you because there was somebody else here that someone was working with. Or for some of you, you put some restrictions in place to where somebody has to be a team player. It's like they ain't got no choice but to be a team player yet. So you can go towards what you want to go towards because there's a connection here that's on hold. Or that you're just really yearning for, you want, or you, you dream about this, or you want it. And I feel like you feel bored or discontent without your person. But they could have been caught up in a third-party situation where they had to kind of like get somebody to work with their ass. For some of you, this person, whoever the fuck this is, that they, they got to get to work with them, they have a mental disorder. They have a problem. So they had to, there had to be some like special like restrictions or certain things put in place to get shit in order with this. All right, something had to be in order because it wasn't. But the Three of Pentacles talks about hard work, great work ethic, dedication. Somebody could be traveling towards you. Let's see, what's the Knight of Wands with the Three of Pentacles? So some of y'all are uncertain because you're trying to figure out if, if there's a third party still or somebody is still working with somebody. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Or you could just be uncertain if this is you trying to go towards your person or they're trying to come towards you. It's like, do I still stay guarded or do I still protect myself or do I have to like, like what? This is what I'm getting. So we're going to have a Sag Moon. I've got a Sagittarius right here. Capricorn Mars too. Somebody could have that placement. But yeah, something has been an ongoing battle. Or it's just been really hard to fight whatever this is. And I feel like now you're free though. Knight of Wands. So you're like, you're like uncertain about where you're headed to. But you just know that you're free and you're ready to explore. You're ready to get out there. Or you're ready to go towards your person. Knight of Wands is facing... This Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Chariot. This person could just be younger than you, or they could be in their 20s to 35. I think that's the Knight of Wands. Somebody could be around those ages, around that, that time frame or that age. But yeah, I just feel like, you know, I feel like you're really, you could be guarded or you're like protecting yourself. But there's lessons here that somebody has learned, and it's about teamwork, effort making time for what you want to make time for for things that you want right you know i don't know yeah you you got some boundaries up because somebody here betrayed you or something like that and i feel like you don't know if they're if I feel, i'm getting like an energy you don't know if you feel free enough you know what i mean like you're still in this guarded energy like i don't know if they're going to come back and do something to me or it's like it's like you're worried about somebody doing something to you or whatever the fuck. 
because they did betray you. There was a betrayal. Let's see. What's the temperance in reverse? Yeah, somebody's in violence. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Five of Wands. Somebody's like angry or they like to fight or argue. And I feel like somebody, some of you guys have been through something abusive, okay? And you've had to overcome that with the strength card or you had to find an inner strength to really pull yourself out of a dark place. Because this person, whoever this is, is very chaotic and they like to control people. Whoever the fuck this hoe is. What's this Two of Pentacles? Sorry, what's the two of pentacles with the temperance in reverse? Four of wands, five of pentacles, yeah. So whatever this is right here, someone could have Aries, Venus, Capricorn, Jupiter. Somebody is going to have a hard time maintaining a home, okay? Because I feel like you're free. You're leaving. You don't want to be with this person, <laughs> okay? That, that's what I'm getting. There, there's somebody that's going to have a hard time managing a home or something could be going up and down is fluctuating or something like that some of you guys are rushing to do something you're rushing to buy a house i feel like don't don't rush take your time please read the fine print okay get a good realtor or whoever or whatever you're trying to do i feel like there was just a lot of ups and downs in a community or in a home and i feel like you're it's in balance the 10% reverse. It's just something It's not right. It's too much clashing or too much. It's just too much. I feel like you're leaving, right? That's one thing. But then I also feel like there's somebody that you're clashing with that you want to fix things with. You want to balance things out because you want a reunion, but you're clashing. So you're trying to figure out if they're going to accept your apology or accept you back or whatever. But the thing about this is you do have to come in confident, but don't come in cocky, okay? Because the Knight of Wands could be a little bit, I, I don't know, they come off as cocky or whatever. You know, something about someone's stability is up and down or somebody's trying to decide on something. This could talk about partnerships too. Somebody was juggling for some of you. Somebody was juggling you anyways. They, they were married already or they already had a family somewhere else. And so you're actually going towards your Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the, the Chariot. You're going towards your Ten of Pentacles, the world. It's like somebody already had someone here. They were juggling you. They had options. They had choices. And now you guys are not speaking or, or you don't want to speak to this hoe. Yeah, Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever is coming in for you is des it's destined for you to go there. Yeah, the Six of Swords. It's like you're being guided. That's support. That's guidance here. So is the, the Wheel of Fortune and, you know, shit like that. But I feel like somebody was juggling somebody or or some of you guys have been like back and forth too with your stability. You're like, you don't know if wherever you're going, you're going to be stable, secure. It's like a lot of things are up in the air. Okay. But you have to take risks. The Nine of Wands is a risk taker. The Nine of Wands is persistence, dedication, still keeping like, for, keep, keep going forward, right? Be resilient. Okay. The, the temperance too is like an overindulgence. So that for some of you, some of y'all need to stop spending your money. All right, your money is fluctuating and you need to stop spending. All right, for others of you, like I said, somebody was overindulging and cheating on you or doing something. They was juggling though. Or somebody has been juggling going from home to home, place to place. They're finally about to get stability and it's scaring them. That's what I'm getting. It's something like that. What's the, what's the 10 of swords? A lot of tens here, so definitely, yeah, the four of cubs. It's like been some dissatisfaction or unhappiness. Someone got have a cancer moon. There's definitely somebody refusing someone's offer. They missed an opportunity because of this betrayal. Whoever betrayed somebody and had someone juggling or struggling, or I feel like somebody did something on purpose to somebody, and now they ass is sitting in the eight of swords, six of pentacles. They're the ones that need help. They're the ones that stuck. They're the ones that's trying to reach out to you, and you're moving on. And so you're happily ever after where you're not going to be struggling. But what you need to do is not be scared of it. <coughs> Sorry, my throat itch. And I get that you are, so that's just something you will have to work through, and I feel like you will. But yeah, something has been at a stalemate because of a betrayal or something here happened. Some of y'all, this is a divorce or a breakup or something like that going on here. Mm 
Yeah. What's the strength card? Six of Swords. Aquarius, Mercury replacement, Cancer Moon here. So yeah, this is like guided, being guided. This could be travel, yeah, relocating. It's like, you don't, you, I feel like what you're just uncertain about is like, you're just scared. That, that's honestly what I feel, or you're scared that you're not going to meet the right people or, or make the right collaborations or network properly, or you're scared that because it's Knight of Wands is going towards the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. I feel like somebody's trying to have a backup plan. So like, if you don't accept them, they're going to run out and go somewhere else. <laughs> like like move or have to do this again or relocate again somebody's trying to make sure something is planned out right yet before they take this leap of faith the fool they don't want to be turned down here or um you don't want to move to a new location and it just don't work out right it's like you you somebody just it's giving fixed sign they don't they don't they don't, they don't like change but this is changing for the better okay so, so i feel like somebody is just they're in their head or they have a negative way of thinking or they get in their head sometimes because they don't know what's to come. So, like, I mean, they can't tell. But there's the star, positive turnaround and a shift in perspective that needs to happen. Be more optimistic with the sun. You know? But the six of swords is definitely spiritual guidance or your spirit guides guiding you or has guided you to overcome whatever this is that you had to overcome or find that inner strength to move forward and push through something. Um... Peace and harmony, things moving into calmer waters here, healing, making progress. But this could be relocating or traveling or whatever. Yeah, somebody's coming in fast. For some of you with a reconciliation, for others of you, this is just you making the connections you need to make to get yourself out of a bind or something like that or whatever. Like putting yourself out there to meet new people because maybe you, you isolate yourself a lot. This could be a lot of things. That's what I'm getting. Somebody here, somebody is making biscuits or something, or somebody really likes biscuits and sausage or something like that. Or that's what you're eating for breakfast. <laughs> I don't know. You're being supported, so just trust where you're going. Don't make any don't make any fast decisions. Listen to your inner voice here. And, you know, usually with the Knight of Wands, when they take risks, it works. So, you know, so, yeah. But let's see, what's cross? Sacrifice, down for the cause, release, letting go. Yeah, something is over. The Death card, Scorpio energy. Purpose-driven martyrdom. Heed the call. Okay, damn, the hangman, that is, that is a sacrifice here for some of you. Okay, yeah, the Three of Wands. Yeah, this is you letting go, releasing... Could be dealing with an Aries, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, you're relocating here. I feel like I feel like you feel confident in your decision to release whatever it is that you left behind because you you have a sense of foresight now. You can see what's coming in. You can kind of like plan and do what you need to do. But I feel like where the fear comes in is like where you're going or where you're going to end up. Right? It's like just trust the process, trust the journey. Okay, so release the fear. You could have had to make sacrifices and leave something behind for wherever you're going or whatever you're going to do. <coughs> Y'all, my throat is down. Um, and the hangman hey definitely talks about a shift in perspective. Definitely releasing or there's something that you're releasing. I don't know. For some of you, somebody could have tried to sacrifice you because I'm getting that with martyrdom here. I'm getting... You're going towards something like huge or big. And it's like, yeah, with the four of wands, ten of cups, six of cups, the chariot, ten of pentacles, the world. You are. And you might need to relocate and do some more shit. Yeah, the emperor. You might need to leave to do this and do a lot. Like your whole life is changing. And I just feel like people are like against it. So they could have tried to sacrifice you or you were a sacrifice here. In some sort of like ritual or whatever. Because you come from a very wealthy bloodline. And your ancestors, they could have been in the spiritual things or whatever the hell. Yeah, and the Knight of Swords, the Empress. Yeah, somebody coming towards you fast with an offer. I'm serious. <laughs> like, they come in and I feel like this is the one or whatever the fuck. Okay, so there, there's a lot of shit that needed to be done. So somebody's getting ready to make a big move that they need to know is going to work. 
Okay, like th that's what that's what I'm getting. Like somebody, what's the 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 death card? I feel like you need to let go of expectations and just do it. Yeah, the page of cups. Yeah, something new, good news. Okay, yeah, for some of you, somebody has been preying on you since you were a child or your family could have or whoever the fuck this hoe is that needs this help. That I feel like somebody's like begging or crying for help or whatever. It, but it, I feel like when you were giving them help, they weren't being nice or they were they were acting like a fucking clown. And I feel like now you don't want to help them out and they just crying. They cry wolf too many goddamn times. And now you're moving forward. So with the Page of Cups, I'm getting something is over for good. Something that needed to end and you're transitioning into a very... um fun and playful period of your life i feel like you're getting ready to celebrate or um there, there's definitely an apology or an offer coming in from someone mm. there's good news though what's this page of cut specifically what's this page of cut specifically or you're listening to your inner voice now you, you you're following your heart now you're able to get like downloads possibly because somebody was trying to block you from being able to see what you're fated to get here so that could have been what this is. What's the page of cups? Yeah, six of wands and the hermit. Yeah, whatever this is, it's rewards, it's recognition or whatever this shit is that you're supposed to be doing was hidden from you. So I feel like people around you, they just don't want to see you shine because they're, they're fucked up in life. They're mad and they just are losers. And they're meant to live that kind of lifestyle and you're not. You're meant to have adventure and travel and things are supposed to be at great ease for you. And you're meant to, I don't know, and they're not. And that's just their fucking problem. Why should somebody like be mad at your fucking mama, your daddy, or whoever the fuck gave you that shit? <laughs> like, cause you just like them, you had to work through shit too. Your mama, your daddy, and your people in your family gave you bullshit to work through. That's why you sitting up here like this right now, but you made it through though. So it's either get strong, do it, or don't. But don't be mad at somebody else because they got something that you don't have or you're not working to get. That's what I'm saying. Like that's childish. But could be dealing with a Virgo or uh somebody could have a Leo Jupiter placement so yeah i'm getting you you're getting rewards and recognition for your hard work the work that you've done especially when it comes down to finding your purpose doing the soul searching finding yourself with the hermit introspection listening to your inner voice your inner voice has guided you all the way here and you've seen what you needed to see you saw what you saw you've seen people were trying to sacrifice you or 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 keep you stuck or whatever it is and i feel like it's over it's over if anything they're going to be sacrificed or they're going to fucking go down however they go down I don't know, but you're walking away. Some of y'all could be seen in a public eye here. Something was hidden from you, and I feel like you found it. You found, you got the key here to where you need to be, what you need to be doing here. So I'm seeing a victory and success and abundance coming to you with the Six of Wands. Um, some of y'all are even meant to be seen in a public eye. You're meant to be famous or some type of acclaim or recognition is supposed to be coming towards you. Or some of y'all are meant to just be, I don't know, but it's coming. So you're going through a major change or transformation here. And it's a lot of things coming to light. So just listen to your intuition here. Go where you're guided to go. I feel like somebody was just trying to get the fame that you had or they want the recognition that you have or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Yeah, and the Three of Swords, somebody wanted this fame. They wanted this recognition or they wanted this offer or whatever it is that you got, the gift that you have, whatever, honey. <laughs> The power that you hold, the Queen of Wands with the Hierophant. I feel like they just want... I'm so sick of these fucking people wanting something that's not theirs. That's just... That sounds crazy to me. I've never... I don't know. I just can't relate. <laughs> I just can't relate, Gemini. What's what's the hangman, honey? That shit is lame as hell to me. Yeah, the devil wants to come out. Yeah, I'm t bro, this is a real sacrifice. <laughs> Now that with the devil and the fucking, this could be you releasing fear, yes, and all that, but that could have been what the curse was. The curse was you fearing to, yeah, martyrdom. The curse was you, um, what's the curse, y'all? What am I trying to say? The curse was you feeling like restricted or people making you do things you don't want to do or people making you go down a route that you don't want to go down just because it looked good or because it felt good to them. But you were being dissatisfied on a soul level. So it was meant for you to purify yourself and cut these gut the, these people off or the shit off so that way you could find yourself again and go back home in your soul. Like go back to your true nature. That's what I'm getting. You have gifts that need to be unlocked here. And it's like these people, if they were trying to sacrifice you or hold you up or stagnate you or whatever, that's not working. 
I feel like somebody really was trying to like, this is a real sacrifice with the hangman, the devil. I don't know. Yeah, the emperor and the eight of pentacles. You're meant to be a boss. You're meant to like meet your emperor. This is that's if this is what's going on here. You're meant to like run some shit, but it's not this. You're not meant to. You're meant to be in a position of power and authority, and they're meant to like listen. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Like somebody is meant to listen to you and whatever, but they wanted to have the upper hand or something or something like that. It's it's like they try to take something from you here. Yeah, that's crazy. Child, what's um what's the three of wands? Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah, you're leaving behind this third party hose or whatever this is right here. You guys be seeing three 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 six six six. Someone could have a Libra Saturn. So yeah, somebody is sad or they heartbroken and I feel like you feel fine because <laughs> this is where you're going. Ace of Pentacles. Someone is like sad or upset or they're waiting, waiting for what? But the Three of Pentacles, I mean, the Three of Wands talks about feeling self-assured, feeling confident about moving forward, being okay and happy with your choices that you've made thus far. All right, so a lot of people are sitting up here heartbroken, sad, crying, exes, baby mamas, whoever the fuck they are, family members, whoever. People that you just don't resonate with no more. Yeah, and your justice is whatever this partnership is. That's I keep saying this to a cup as I'm shuffling. This is your justice, though. This partnership, some of y'all are, are gay or you're bisexual. You're going to be with a man or a woman if you're a man or a woman, and it should not fucking matter. I don't give a fuck what people feel like. I feel like just like, who did I tell this to? Aries. If somebody loves somebody of the opposite sex, why is that bad? Because somebody has said, oh, God, God wants man and woman to be together. And I mean, I have mixed emotions about that because God also just wants people to love each other. Love is the highest vibration. So if you love somebody of the same sex and that's who you want to be with, then I don't understand what the problem is. But I mean, hey, everybody got their own thing that they like or whatever. And I just feel like that's bullshit, though. <laughs> but it might not be. Who knows? <clears throat> I just feel like God loves love. God wants you to love and go where you're loved and wanted. Ace of Cups. Confirmation. And maybe I'm right. I don't know. I don't goddamn know. But yeah, like Ace of Cups, King of Swords. They want you to be authentic. Be yourself. Be real. That's what makes you happy. Why the fuck should you be? You're not going to be punished for loving somebody of the same sex. I don't know. That shit's bullshit to me. I don't know. That's some, that's some shit that's man-made. And how do you know what God wants? For real, how does anybody, honestly... <laughs> Because that's why you need to listen to yourself. If you know yourself, then everybody has the God within them. So if you're listening to yourself and you know what's right and you're listening to your intuition, that's God speaking to you anyway. So a lot of people, I don't know, they just go with what the stereotypes are and they follow religion, which is also another man-made thing. And it's just like, it's a lot of shit that's twisted and needs to be flipped upright. Because a lot of shit is backwards, if you ask me. Now, everybody can have their own beliefs, but I'm just telling you what mine is, Right? And God wants you to be free. Nine of Pentacles. Like, if, I don't know. God also is a person. Well, I said a person. But God also is a spirit of a sense of humor. <laughs> like, my God got a sense of humor. I don't know about y'all. But, you know. So, I just feel like, I feel like the waiting period for some of you is just like, somebody's like healing or they need to heal from something too. If you're waiting for somebody to return or you want them back or whatever, I feel like there's a healing period that's taking place because there's a lot of bullshit that's been going on here. A lot of confusion and a lot of like illusions and all that. And I feel like that shit needs to be cleared first. Some of you guys could live at a distance from a person, from your person. But somebody is done. Somebody has turned their back on the third party or they turned their back on whatever was hurting them and they're moving forward with confidence, three of wands. So, okay. So what's worry beads here with checkered flag? Why, why is that here? Oh, verdict. Somebody, somebody could be going to jail. Let's see, what's worry beads with checkered flag? Ace of Pentacles. Page of Wands and the Hierophant. Wow. Okay, there's good news coming in. I don't know. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands and the Hierophant. 
Some of y'all could be worried about a child. Yeah, there's insecurities. The moon, yeah, and the empress. You're scared about something. Or your person is scared to come towards you or something like that. You could be feeling insecure about something or just worry. Like you, there's fear or something. Or your intuition is telling you something that you need to listen to, but you don't know if it's the right thing to do or not. Okay. Some of y'all could be scared that you're pregnant or you're scared of birthing something, like putting something out there. This could be commitment. Somebody could be like, I'm not going to say they're non-committal, but they could be scared of like going into another thing because of something that they've already been through. Some of y'all, what's the Ace of Pentacles? Some of y'all are scared of your own damn success here. <laughs> it's probably overwhelming. I get it. Somebody here could be getting a new car, a new home. Wow. Yeah. New love. Ace of Cups. So the final verdict is in. This is what you're getting. This is yours to keep here. Something is stable. There's a new love coming in for some of you. If you don't know somebody that's coming back that you just you just don't want or whatever or whatever the fuck, there's new love coming in. There's options, choices. Okay. This looks nice. I don't know. So somebody is worried. They nervous, honey. I don't know if my allergies are acting up or what this is. There's positive outcomes to whatever you're worried about, okay? Whether it's money or love, I feel like, yeah, you're going to be fine or... Let's see. What's the page of wands? So there's, there's communication. What's the page of wands? The high priestess and the justice. <laughs> There could be something going on in court that you're worried about, that you're trying to listen to your intuition about. But for others of you, there's karmic justice coming in here. This is nice. Could be dealing with the Libra Pisces. Whatever this is, is coming into balance. There's good news coming in from a court case, maybe about a child or a court thing is concluding or is closing out for you here. Some of y'all could be pregnant. <laughs> wow, the Hierophant with the High Priestess. Some of y'all have a counterpart coming in. That's your Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, Chariot, Ten of Pentacles, World, Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody is definitely getting a twin. There's a twin flame connection coming in, child. It's fast. Okay. Could be in a couple days with all these wands or whatever the fuck. But whatever this is, is your justice. You feel it coming too with the High Priestess. There's like communication here, Ace of Wands. Some of y'all are tarot readers or you're definitely very spiritual. You're spiritual gurus or whatever. But uh, something good is coming in, though. Something is concluding. And yeah, you're getting you're getting judgment here. Something is resurrecting or... Child, somebody could be having a problem with their throat chakra. Or somebody's having a problem with their allergies. Because that's what it feels like to me. Nine of Cups, the Lovers, the King of Cups. Yeah. Mm. Some of y'all will end up pregnant. <laughs> Okay, I keep getting that in the collective energy, so don't beat me up if I keep saying it, but I'm saying it, though. It's here. It's here for somebody. What's the Hierophant? Wow, the Empress. There's a commitment coming in, Empress, or this is you getting ready to birth something new, a spiritual project or something like that. I don't know. But some of y'all getting ready to get married. There's a commitment coming in. Your, your spiritual spouse, your kingdom spouse, whatever, they come in. There, there's a sacrifice or some sort of hex or something that has, that has been broken off of this connection. It's like, it's coming. What's the Empress with the Hierophant? The Ace of Damn Wands. I'm telling you, there's there's a pregnancy right there. Ace of Wands with the Empress. <laughs> I don't know. The Seven of Cups. There's confusion here, though, or you're confused, or I don't know. You're going through some sort of awakening, though. Seven of Cups with the Judgment, or you need to, de to decide on something. Or this is probably somebody else's ass. Whoever this confused hoe is that's been in y'all energy, they're getting judgment. <laughs> judgment is being called upon, whatever this is. But definitely the empress, the hierophant, the high priest, is the, the justice. You're getting a lot of surprises coming in, uh, Gemini. So really, I don't think you should be worried about anything. For some of you, if this is not a connection, you could be birthing something new. Okay, there's something new that you're, that you're birthing here. Okay, I'm definitely getting a creative spark, though. A creative spark um artistic kind of like energy the 
there's some sort of like fun or spontaneous time coming in or something's going to be a shock or a surprise. Some of y'all getting ready to do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting, I don't know. Something's going to lead into a commitment though. There could be some travel involved as well. Yeah, I keep getting travel. Let's get a card for Gemini. So yeah. Hmm. All right now. There's something big coming in, honey. I don't know. Maybe you're nervous you're not going to get it. I feel like it's day ass because you're sitting up here. you chilling. I don't know. Because you already know it's yours, but this person cannot. They, they, they know it's theirs, but they're nervous about indulging or embracing it or whatever. Give me a card for Gemini. Thank you. So we have Spirit Warrior, period. That's what I'm getting. Be brave and true. Bottom of the deck is Lioness. Number 26. My book. Let's see. So it says in a reading, you are earning the right to make significant progress in your life. Yeah, the universe will make certain will make certain you are ready for the breakthrough by testing your spiritual maturity. Hmm. The universe wants to make sure that we are wise enough to use our increased power and any other blessings wisely and not hurt ourselves or others. Even if no one else knows about it, will you behave with integrity and be true to yourself? Will you be kind even when you could be in the position to judge another? Be the best human you can be and know that any tests you are going through are actually predictions of positive changes and divine gifts headed your way. Yeah, so it says spiritual guidance. I forgot who had this card. Somebody had it. Could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra strong Taurus. Okay, maybe Taurus had it. I forgot. But it says integrity means being true to yourself. It doesn't mean it doesn't matter what anyone else says about it or if their values are different to yours. Period is what I just said. Spirit wants you to be true to yourself, not do what other people feel like you should be doing. That's not going to get you nowhere. But when you are becoming a spirit warrior, you are learning to stand up and fight with love for what matters to you. Sometimes it can seem like spirit warriors need to live to a higher standard than others. When you need to be the better person in a situation, it's been set up that way by the universe because you can actually be the better person, period. <laughs> be that, or it says be that person. Not everyone is capable of that. The heavier load falls upon the stronger shoulders, but the more spiritual responsibility we have, the more we are helped to succeed. The path of the spirit, spirit warrior may not seem to be the easiest path sometimes, but actually it is easier in the long term because not liking or respecting yourself eventually leads to a tragic loss of soul. Our soul brings us creative fire, passionate purpose, and love so strong we want to heal the world, as well as spiritual connection and so much more. It is worth the effort to safeguard it by living in a way that is honorable and respectful. If that means living to a standard that, that is spiritual rather than ordinary, then that is okay. It is a more beautiful and special way to live anyway, period. So fight the good fight, spirit warrior. Great things are headed your way and you are showing yourself worthy and ready for greater success. It's coming. Somebody's a spiritual, spiritual warrior. All right, it's whatever this is, it's honey, it's coming. Period. <laughs> You've reached the end of kind of like this karma that you're clearing out or whatever the fuck this is. You deserve whatever this is that's coming in. It's, it's definitely coming. All right, but it says for your sacred rit ritual, gaze at yourself in a mirror and say aloud, I see you, you are brave. You have gone through a lot and you have grown wiser and stronger. I respect you. I love who you choose to be. Put your hands in in prayer and bow your head for a moment with respect in your heart okay so that's what's coming jam jams and i will get ready <laughs> like i'm saying like i don't know you're nervous about it or you're scared or i feel like it's your person but there's there's a true twin flame thing going on here Somebody has, get, has kept God's promise here. I mean, somebody has kept their promise to God. Whatever contract you signed in the past life to fight off whatever this is so you and this person could be together or you can um, grow into the best version of yourself is working. Somebody has kept their promise. A lot of people can't fulfill that. Like the book said, a lot of people cannot do that. And a lot of people don't believe in their twin flame journey. They quit it or they say, oh, fuck this. I'm going to go to a soulmate. It's easier whatever <laughs> do whatever you feel like you feel feel called to do honey that's all i'm gonna say because if you feel if you signed a contract in the past like to be with this person or to get whatever the fuck this is 
and it's all tied in together, your money tied into it, your livelihood and everything else, and you choose something lower than that, then that's on you. That's just you. That's what you chose. Ain't nobody judging you for your decisions. I'm just telling you what's the best guidance for yourself, right? Like that's my point of even reading to help others is to give you guidance, you know, but people gonna do what they wanna do or people's gonna be negative and that's just something that I don't condone. So whatever, I, 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 I encourage people to like fight. You need to keep fighting and not give up, okay? I don't know. Okay, yeah, Taurus had that. Venusian Galactic Council, star being guides, answer the call, and time to shine. Bottom of the deck is Cyrus star blessings. Yes, per yes, proceed, be seen, and push through. Didn't I just say that? that's confirmation? So you feel like giving up on whatever this is, you should not. That, that's just confirmation of what I just said. And this is the last... Who else had this? I don't know if it was Aquarius. I forgot who had, who else had that, but... It says the Venusians are advanced cosmic beings similar to angels who come from the planet Venus. Okay, Taurus, Libra. They are our starry ancestors and are dedicated to helping us experience and embody divine love. There are millions of them and many of us will have them working with us as guides. If you feel drawn to this information or strongly connected to the stars or star people, there's a good chance that there are many extraterrestrial beings around you at this time, many of whom will be connected to the Venusian Galactic Council. Governed by Lady Venus and Sanat Kumar, Kumara, the Venusian Galactic Council is a divine board of directors who are responsible for recruiting light workers and leaders on Earth who have the potential to make a huge difference by following the call of their soul. When they come to us, it is an honor and an opportunity to be reminded of a connection that was active before we came into this yeah before we came into this incarnation. There is no set way of working with the Venusians, but they will contact us in dreams or meditation to share information that will support us on our journey. They often send spiritual downloads and thought forms or understandings. Dreams about flying or being in space are other ways in which way in which they will come through to us. So it says to connect. It says on a bright starry night, say Venusian Galactic Council. Thank you for helping me answer the call of my soul. OK, so it says your message. This is a call to action. You are being asked to step up and create the changes you want to see in the world. You have a reason for being here and you have the potential to inspire, support, and heal your corner of the world. Don't let this information scare you or overwhelm you for you are being prepared energetically to step into this role. The ideas you have been having recently are divine downloads, but you aren't being called to make dramatic changes to your life. Simply to move forward step by step. The Venusian Galactic Council will reveal more information to support you. Be aware of downloads of information and spiritual signs for they are confirmation that you are on the right path. Okay, period. So yeah, somebody here is love is, for this reading is giving, love is the highest vibration of all. Love for yourself and love for another. And for a lot of you, there is love for another here. There's a strong connection that's coming in to people that are going to show what love really looks like. That's what I'm getting, like unconditional love. Whoever this is, y'all had a lot to fight through before this could come together. And Empress, if you're the divine feminine that led this or like uh, awaken your masculine or whatever the fuck you did here, the blessing is coming to you. Whatever you're wanting is coming. Literally, if it's a baby, it's coming. If it's this relationship, it's coming. If it's a new job, a new fucking career path, a start of a new business, connecting better to your, like, I just feel like it's coming. I don't know. Justice, if this is a court situation, it's coming. Like, I don't know, more fun, more more happiness, great sex with a person that you that is that's deserving of your divine energy is coming. Like all that's coming, honey. I'm telling you. So get ready to celebrate. Okay. This is your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.